Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the brand new Fox V4 Dirt Helmet. Now the V4 is a brand new helmet from Fox. It is the successor to the V3. Whereas in the past, your V3 was your top of the end model. I have it here, right here to my left. This is the Monster Energy version. We've seen this helmet carry its weight for a few years now. Now looking at the V4, this is completely redesigned. Your V3 was in the price point of that three to $400 range. Your V4 starting north of $500. What Fox has really done is they've completely redesigned this helmet from both a fit, protection, feature, ventilation standpoint. And in a second here, I'm gonna walk through all of those different nuances. But if we really look at it, and the goal with this helmet was to build a more pro, a more a helmet that was more exemplary of what a pro would expect and something that can really play in the same pools of what you see from the high-end showies, the high-end Arise. Now, we've, this product's been going through extensive testing and you're currently seeing this being worn by some of the pros at the, uh, at the Supercross level. So if we look at this helmet here, I have, my, I have my flight carbon here to the right. I have my future red here in the middle. I'm going to take my flight carbon. I'm going to move it over here. And be sure to look for some of the graphic breakdowns we have that get into a little deeper. Let's just talk about key differences. The first thing that you're going to notice, besides the aggressive new design, is that this helmet is a complete carbon fiber helmet. The V4 is now carbon fiber, where the V3 was a composite. It was fiberglass, carbon fiber. It was a blend. Going to carbon fiber gives you the ability to save a lot of weight. It's a more technical helmet built from more exotic materials. If I flip it around here the back, you can actually see the carbon fiber weave. And over to my right on that flight carbon, there's a lot more carbon showing. But really, one of the keys that, that this allows them to do is be compliant from the V3, which was Snell to 2005 standard, now to the V4, which is a Snell 2010 standard. And by doing that, there were certain upgrades in that new Snell 2010 standard that allowed, that, that forced different helmet manufacturers to add a little bit more weight to the helmet. So what you have when you go up here is you have, you've only added a handful, it's, I believe it's five to six more ounces size per size as you go up to the V4, but by using carbon fiber, you were able to keep that a more, uh, uh, less of a major bump here in the weight. So you're still allowing it to be a relatively light helmet, but you're getting to that never, next level of safety standard. Another key key difference from the V4 to the V3 are the amount of shell sizes. You're looking at four shell sizes for both the exterior as well as the EPS liner in the V4, whereas you only had two in the V3. That allows you to make a more, a better fitting and, and more all-encompassing helmet for the right size of the rider's head without going overboard or having to use extra material. So going from a medium, you're only using the amount of material needed to create that medium size, size shell versus trying to make a smaller interior to fit a large size shell. And that again is a nice step forward. It allows for some weight, weight savings as you're making more specific helmets. The other big standout feature as we look at them both head on is the amount of ventilation here in the V4. The V4 has 16 intake vents, it has eight exhaust vents. That's a dramatic improvement over the venting configuration here on the V3. So you're going to have vents that come in through the front around the chin bar. One of the key new vent styles, and this is a really awesome feature, is here at the brow. Now, if I slightly tilt this up, you're going to see that these brow vents are open right here on the back. And what they do is they create this pocket of air along the top of the brow line. What that's going to do is it's going to funnel air in from the front, immediate, immediately direct it down towards the goggles. So you're going to get great airflow into your goggles to, to try to you know help sweat evaporate, move fresh air through the goggle system, keep you from fogging, and just basically keep keep the airflow a little bit more, a little bit more airflow as it goes towards your face while you're riding. If we move to the top and to the back, you're also going to see a lot more vents along the top. So we have four across the top here. As we move to the back, a dramatic amount of venturis here across the back. You have them down here below uh, near the neck roll. You have four across the top. It's just a dramatically different configuration. You'll also notice at the side, the way the peak sits. The peak is now integrated within the helmet. And if I turn them slightly like this, you could see the side profile in close up. And you can see that we still have the adjustability of the peak here. Move the ability to slide it up and down, but now it sits flush with the helmet. So straight on, you're going to see it, it configures, it comes in here and it sits flush within the molding of the actual helmet itself, where the V3, it sits on top. So again, by eliminating a ridge, it's one less thing that could stick out or catch with the ground if you have a situation where you're going to come into contact with the ground. Again, there's a design element to it that just looks a bit more pro, but it's really, really well done. The other thing that you're going to notice is here on Fox, it's that Fox style of helmet. So you have that, the more vertical side to it along the jawline. They've done that in the past. Some of the other helmet manufacturers have a bit different shape as they come down here through the sides. In the Fox universe, they've continued on with that tradition with the new helmet. The, the next new, new feature here on the V4 is the fit. 
They've increased the way the shape and, and the all-encompassing nature of the cheek pad goes. They've, they've slightly modified the way the helmet sits on the head. So it actually, you get your head's going to fit a little deeper in this helmet, and then the cheek pads are actually going to be a bit more all-encompassing. And when I pull them in a second, we can talk about their new material as well. So they create a better seal along the jawline if we look at it from the bottom. And again, still intermediate oval head shape. They haven't really dramatically shaped the change the shape front to back, but the way that this helmet sits on your head as your head comes in contact with the inner EPS, it's going to feel more encompassing, it's going to give you a better seal around the jawline, and your head's actually going to be nestled a bit more deeply inside. So continuing on with a few more key differences here on the V4, they've changed the way that the chin bar works. Now you have carbon fiber, you have the actual helmet itself coming a bit more further forward to where here on the V3 it's going to stop and you're going to get this larger plastic piece which is the chin vent. On this helmet the chin vent's just a slight insert on the middle here, this plastic and you get the carbon fiber that comes all the way up. And notice that we've added additional venting here as well, or Fox has rather. You're still getting the, the eye port design with the grips for your goggle straps, and you still have a profile along the back that's going to give you a nice ridge and allow you to seat the, uh, your goggle strap across the back as well. Another feature with the V4 that's going to be an upgrade over the V3, as I pull my donut over here, we've talked about the interior shell shape. Let's talk about the materials a little bit. So it's now Drylex, where in the past it was Coolmax, which is a, a, a less specific type of material. The Drylex is going to be soft, it's going to be wicking, it's antimicrobial, it goes against your face, it's going to do a great job of wicking sweat. It's actually a nicer, more comfortable, and more performing material than you had with the, with the uh, cool, Coolmax. I pull this both sides out, you can see the cheek pad, the shape is slightly different, you can see the way that these fit. And then as I begin to pull the comfort liner out, you have four snaps. You're going to see the 3D shape of it. The shape is going to be different than the uh, V3. So notice the amount of 3D to this comfort liner. So as I slide this over, you're going to see that a lot of the areas have big cutaways. There's no mesh there. What they're giving you a chance to do is get the, um, the most amount of direct venting to your head. Motocross, Supercross, it's one of the most active and aggressive aerobic activities you can do. Most people don't realize how hard these guys work for you know, the amount of, for 20 laps on the track at the pro level. So this helmet being a pro level helmet, it's using that Drylex material throughout but again, the amount of cutouts is a very complete and finished liner. And if we look at the inside of the V4 here, you're going to see the ventilation scheme has changed. We still have big channels, but notice these 10 millimeter vent holes. Direct, com they completely vent from the outer shell, and they're going to flow air directly to the head, and those are going to line up with the cutouts in the comfort liner itself. And notice those channels that go all the way down to the base of the skull, and these are going to interface with these big venturi vents here out the back as well. So when you're moving at high speed, you're going to get a lot of air in through the interior. It's going to cycle through your head, and then it's going to be sucked out through the back and create a great vacuum effect to keep you as cool and dry as possible. So this is definitely a big step up from what we've seen from Fox as far as what a pro-level helmet should be. We're, we're very happy to see them raise their game. You know, we, we know that a lot of people are seeing this for the first time from us, but if you're currently riding it or whether or not you're just checking out for the first time, leave us your feedback on our YouTube page at Revzilla TV. You can also subscribe to us to keep up to date with all the new Fox product and video and other videos we're producing, um, reviewing gear at Revzilla TV. As, also, as always, we want to hear your feedback on Facebook as well. If you have any questions about the Fox V4, shoot us a line, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. We have graphics available. There will be replica graphics available as well. As always, it's over 39 bucks. We'll ship for free, exchange for free, no restock if you need to send it back. You can earn TeamZilla cash on every order at RevZilla, over 100 bucks to be applied to your next order. It's part of our loyalty program to save you some money in the long run. You can find the Fox V4 helmet at RevZilla.com slash Fox. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.